Catholic school system controversy. I'm tired of people living in fear. I'm tired of living in fear. A CTV News exclusive. Teachers in the separate system who say they feel forced to out gay co-workers. CTV Calgary. Local breaking news with Tara Nelson. We are hearing tonight from numerous teachers within the Calgary Catholic School District who say they feel forced to out gay co-workers. They're sharing their stories in hopes of evoking change within the school system. It comes a week after we first told you about another Catholic school teacher on leave who has filed two human rights complaints against the school board. Brenna Rose has our exclusive story. I'm tired of people living in fear. I'm tired of living in fear. We can't show you her face or tell you her name because she's afraid of losing her job. But we can share some of this Catholic school teacher's story. Even as a straight teacher, I'm scared to talk about my relationships. And scared about what could happen to LGBTQ staff and her if she doesn't report them. In public, it says that you don't rat people out. Within our school board, we have been told. The district disputes the claim. I can tell you that is absolutely not an approach we take as a district. Uh, individuals are held responsible for their own actions and uh, their own behaviors, and we do not look for others to police that. Over the past week, CTV News has spoken with seven teachers currently working within the Calgary Catholic School District. They all say the directive from the board is to out teachers that are believed to be in breach of the Catholicity clause. I was never raised to believe that Catholicity was something to enforce, but something to share because of how great and amazing it is. But ever since I've come here, it's been shown as this is not only a form of faith, but it's also a tool to enforce things. This document outlines expectations and says staff can be disciplined up to and including termination if in breach of a Catholicity obligation. Adding the district will consider the gravity of the act or sin and the steps taken to reconcile or confess. If it's going from being aspirational and sort of a nice to have to now you're actually cracking down on people who are gay or who happen to have a child out of wedlock or who are having sex outside of marriage and we know this because they're in a common law relationship as opposed to actually being married, um, then I think that that would be bordering on discrimination. But it's something these teachers are willing to put up with for the sake of their LGBTQ students. I feel bad for them. I feel bad that they can't live the life that they are living outside of school, that they have to lie about who they are and they have to lie about their family and the people that they love. And Brennan joins us now. So Brennan, what does the board plan on doing about all of this? Tara, it says it will now uh, tell employees to reinforce that uh, their position on all of this. Now, one teacher that I did speak with believes that it might be time to have start having the conversation about dissolving the taxpayer-funded Calgary Catholic School District. In a statement, the education minister says that he is deeply concerned and that the provincial government will not condone discrimination against people on the basis of who they love. Tara? All right, Brenna Rose reporting. Brenna, thank you.